All right, guys, how we doing? Uh, welcome back into Kurt Magush and Slaughterhouse Sports. And today we're going to look at Deshaun Womack. And Deshaun is from, uh, he's from Baltimore. And LSU goes up north to Baltimore and they get uh, a real stud at uh, either D end or defensive tackle. He can play, he could play, t- you know, three technique. He could play four technique, um, you know, in the, in the ABC D gap, he could play in the C and the D gap, possibly the B gap. He just has unbelievable speed. You know, he has great bend around the edge, as you see right there. I mean, watch it, watch him right here. He circle him right there. I mean, watch this bend right here. Um, you know, th- this kid is just a tremendous recruit for LSU. Um, you, you pair him with Quincy Wiggins. That is so explosive. Uh, I think Quincy's going to have a huge freshman year. I mean, this is shaping up to be a tremendous, tremendous defensive line. I mean, LSU has had, uh, you know, unbelievable defensive linemen uh, go to the NFL and these guys can certainly be added uh, to the list of of LSU, you know, defensive linemen that that are that are going to be in the league. All right, trying to even think about the LSU guys that are, you know, defensive linemen. I know you got a lot of cornerbacks, you know, like Patrick Peterson and Honey Badger. I know that it's known as DBU, uh, but. LSU right now is going to be really dominant in the trenches. And, I mean, this kid just has unbelievable feet. I mean, I think he's a five-star defensive end. I think he's one of the best defensive linemen that I've seen in this entire class. I mean, right here, just his ability to go and get after the, you know, the runner, uh, you know, certainly, uh, certainly special stuff. So right here, I think he's located outside. He quickly dissects the play. The ki- the guy probably runs like in the high four fours, and he's a freak athlete to Sean Womack. Freak athlete. Really fun to watch. And I love like at his tape here, I love that we get, you know, a lot of, um, I love that we get a lot of film. I love that we get a lot of film. I think he's right here. So he converges and makes a play. Here we go. On the outside right here, what an unbelievable – does a great job of reading the snap count here. The get-off, incredible, really violent to the quarterback – like a real defensive end, it can even slide in, and and if he wants to even gain weight and be inside as a, as a tackle, I want him honestly on the edge. But you can stun him in so many ways if you're Matt House, if you're you know creating this defensive line. Uh, he just creates such excitement because he's going to create so many explosive plays. And he's going to create a lot of, you know, tackles for loss. And it's time for LSU's defense. I mean, I guess Caleb on chase on was the guy, you know, on that defense that uh, was a national championship level defense. And then, of course, they just had a kid uh, go number three overall, uh, Derek Stingley. But this LSU defense has to be nasty again. They have to be great at stuffing the run. They have to create so many explosive plays for losses. Uh, I, this defensive line, if they're going to really compete in the SEC, their defensive line has to be really, really stout against the run, and it has to get back to being really nasty under Brian Kelly. They're going to create kind of a pro-style offense where they're going to run the football. You know, They're going to have Walker Howard or one of these quarterbacks go play action pass, throw it 25 times a game. you got to be great in the trenches. And I think that Wiggins, I mean, I think Wiggins is a top-flight player that they got in the last class and I'll tell you like this this guy right here I mean he he just has so much versatility watch him back up in the coverage here and then watch him chase I mean wow is he special that's like Khalil Mack type of defensive effort this guy just has an immense amount of talent I think he slept on because I think that he's a uh, a Baltimore recruit 
but I love this tape because I love what we're getting. You know, if you're an LSU fan, you're getting a str- you're getting a defensive playmaker. This guy plays on this side of the ball. He plays at a stud stud school at St. Francis. Look at him here run. I mean, he's so freaking athletic. He's so physical. There is nothing really. I mean, look at him. He's all over the field. What is there not to like about this player? Not only do you have great potential, but you also have great production at the high school level as well. So I'm really, really excited for the, for this player. I really am. There's guys that are rated higher that I've noticed lately on 24-7, and these guys are all projections. Like These guys are, are can all run really fast, are all really good in a combine. A lot of them play on the offensive side side of the ball so you play two sides uh so maybe they have higher upside because they're really fast and they have long arms and the measurables and whatnot but this kid is just i mean first of all this kid is really fast he has unbelievable twitchiness so he does have those quote-unquote measurables it's not all heart this kid has a ton of talent and then you see a ton of physicality so i really think womack is going to be a special player in the sec i think that this was a much needed recruit this is probably Probably my favorite recruit of this class for LSU so far. I mean, they do have Doherty that I looked at earlier, Ryan Yates. So uh, they're staying pretty firm here. Caleb Jackson, you know, now they're getting some offensive weapons. So Brian Kelly's making out fine. And uh, Jackson Howard, his dad played at Stanford, going to look at him next. That's a very, very interesting uh, recruit on multiple levels.